the Canucks faced the Capitals last night, and it was a good game. Uh, Berchi got two, Dorsett got one, which actually is the team leading with six goals. Grandlin, Horvat, and Vanek, they also got goals too, so overall it was a really good game. It was a 6-2 win. Um, Nilsson looked really good in net. He was really solid moving along with the puck. He was able to get himself in front of a lot of shots, and he's really calm, so that's nice to look at. But more importantly around this game, this game was the introduction or the big spark of the BBB line, the Plan B line. This is the line of forwards Sven Berchi, Bo Horvat, and Brock Besser. Easily the most exciting hockey generated from any one of the Canucks lines so far this season, even getting the three stars of the game last night. And it was a fantastic game for each of these players. Bo got a goal and an assist. Berchi got two goals and one assist for three points. And Besser got three points. Besser, he's leading the team now with nine points in eight games. So that's over a point per game. He ended the season last year with four goals and an assist in five games, I think. And that means, you know, he's, he's, he's got a better pace. So... Right now, he's got two goals, seven assists for a total of a team-leading nine points. And, you know, right now, that's, that's not enough for the Calder. It's a small sample size, and even his competitors. Clayton Keller is doing really well as well. He's got 11 points in 10 games for him. But Besser, alongside of Berchi and Horvat, this is the BBB line. Berchi and Horvat with 8 and 7 points as well. They each got 4 goals. These three guys are the best players on the team in terms of statistics. The only player that's on the same level of these guys is Derek Dorsett, and that's because he has a team leading 6 goals. It adds up pretty quickly to his assists. But, taking a look at the BBB line, this is the most explosive line that the Canucks have had in so long. They had a total of 8 points last night against the Caps, and it's expected that they're going to be kept together. I mean, who would break up the BBB line at this point? They have so much to prove, and right now they're playing so well, they're expected to be kept together and to succeed together, as they have so far, as they have shown in the recent stretch of games. This line is scary, and it's only going to get scarier. Besser, he's 20. Horvat, he's 22. Beartree turned 25 last month. Horvat, we all know he's going to be the number one guy in Vancouver for years to come. He pretty much is the guy right now. I mean, Henrik Sedin is the captain, sure. Daniel Sedin is the old, grizzled vet who had such a good run with us seven years ago, sure. Horvat's the guy. Beartree, he's crossing that bridge to the point where we can't really say that he's that much of a young guy anymore. But, he still has a lot of time to improve. He's halfway through his 20s, which means he isn't necessarily quote-unquote young, but he can still get better, for sure. And, despite that, there isn't even a better player to play alongside Besser and Horvat than Berchi. Berchi this is his, what, third season with the Canucks, and overall, his, his defensive game... It's surprisingly good, if not better, than Bo Horvat's. And I know that people are going to be like, what? But I'm telling you guys, watch Berchi on the back check. He's a solid defensive player, and that's the reason why he's been on this team for so long, and he's playing with these good players, because they know that he's a definite NHLer who deserves to be here. And his game, which is already fairly strong, is being amplified by the two up-and-comers around him. But, you know... As I said earlier, is, is it even fair to call Horvat an up-and-comer? Because he's arguably the best player on the team at the moment. 52-something points last season, the first player not named Sadin or Nasland to lead the team in points. He's a good player, and he's going to continue to be a good player. Besser is an up-and-comer for sure. The 20-year-old, he's played a few games at the NHL level. He's unproven here. But he's showing good strides as he plays alongside these other two players. Besser, on my opinion, he's due. 
He has two goals and seven assists. He's an assist machine, a secondary assist machine, but those goals aren't really coming. But, you know, he's still got a really good shot. His shot production is fairly good. I mean, it's what, three shots a game? Three shots a game on average, and he only has two goals. He's due. He's, he's going to get some goals later on in the season. But as for now, you know, helping the team out, getting those assists, that's not a bad thing either. Overall, this new line, the Bo Brock Berchi line, the Bo Besser Berchi line, if you want to call it, the BBB line, this is giving Canucks fans something great to look forward to, not just in the upcoming games this season, but for seasons to come in the future. And that is exciting. That is what's going to let the Canucks step into a new direction. And this is what's going to propel the Canucks. This is the first step for the Canucks in terms of becoming a better team. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're for downloading, subscribe, like, and subscribe, and gaming, and bye. <laughs>